Titration is a volumetric analysis where the strength of unknown solution is determined by titrating with a solution with solution of known concentration. Today we are titrating sodium hydroxide with oxalic acid. This burette is filled with sodium uh, oxalic acid uh, which, whose concentration is 0.1 normal. This is a known concentration and we have taken 10 ml sodium hydroxide solution in this uh, conical flux. We have added two drops phenolethylene indicator in this conical flux. This is the initial point or uh, starting point. This is known as initial bullet reading and we have taken this at zero. The initial bullet reading is zero and we are now starting titration. The person who is titrating has taken uh, his left hand on the knob of the burette and taken he has taken the bonical flux in his right hand. After addition of each drop of titrant to the analyte, he is shaking so that it can react with the uh, titrant and analyte simultaneously. At first, the addition can be at the faster rate. The shaking must be done in the way so that there is a whirlpool. Whirlpool of the solution. And the shaking must be done at the same time when you are adding the analyte from the puret. Uh, titration is on the way running on the color is gradually getting fade and it indicating that the titration is coming to an end point the color is getting more and more and more and more fade and when the solution becomes colorless it reaches the end point <coughs> we are moving towards the end point of this titration and the color is uh, color sh should be from pink to the colorless the color has been omitted or gone now it is colorless and we have this the end point of this titration this is a colorless solution and this is the end point of this titration and this is the end point of this titration it is about 48 point 48 Point three or something. This is the end point of this titration. Now the calculation. We have to write the initial bullet reading. Initial bullet reading was zero, and the final bullet reading was forty-eight point four. And the difference between the final and initial is forty-eight point four. We have to uh, add another two titration. We have to perform another two titration at least. After completing the three titration, there will be a mean, and this mean value will be V2. And by putting this equation, V1 is 1, V2 is 2. We know that the concentration, the volume of sodium hydroxide taken was 10 ml, concentration was 0.1 normal, and the volume V2. This is the mean of three titration, three difference of three titration volume. We got to neutralize the base solution with acid solution V2 this V2 will be written in here and finally we will get the S2 and this is the value for second attention it was started with again 0 and it with 45.4 the difference is 45.4 we are going to perform another titration we are going to fill this bullet again before filling the burette, we have to put a funnel and then with the help of this funnel, and he is refilling this burette. Uh, we are going to take the total volume solution should be zero. So, 
<coughs> we have taken an extra amount of extra amount of solution he is now uh, discarding that extra amount of solution again uh, this is our third iteration we have started from zero since we know that the endpoint generally appearing after 40 ml so we are taking not a drop wise but we are taking uh, as a flow of titan from the bullet after titrating two times we have got an idea that this uh, titration generally ends after 40 ml of uh, for uh, addition of 40 ml of acid in this base solution it can be done it can be done in this way since we have got gathered our experience the wheel pull is appearing and, uh, at the end point you should one should be very precise while adding the acid solution to the base solution uh, now he is adding drop wise so that the titration should not overshoot uh, do not overshoot almost we have this end point or equivalent point and this is the end point and the volume is 41 <coughs> 0 this initial volume was 0 41.3 difference is 41.3 the average value is 45.033 now this value this is the volume of v2 we have to write the volume of v2 and Zero point zero two two, and this is the final volume uh, value for titration. We have zero two two normal. That's the end of this titration. We have got this x uh, end point. Since we have got this end point by measuring the volume, this is also known as volumetric analysis. Thank you, everyone.